Today, candidates for Virginia's House of Delegates and State Senate faced off for a shot at a seat in Richmond. The results are scrolling at the bottom of your screen for all of the races. The one that many had their eyes on, the 18th Senate District Democratic Primary. State Senator Louise Lucas faced off against fellow State Senator Lionel Spruill. The two colleagues had to run against each other due to redrawn districts. In the end, Senator Lucas emerged the winner. Down on your sides, Andy Fox is live from Lucas's headquarters. Andy? Well, this was the party headquarters here at Bideway. You can see it's closed down, but no one went away from here unhappy. They were very happy with the results. State Senator Louise Lucas was always confident that she would win. Lionel Spruill had more of the old district in the new district than what she had, but she put on the proverbial gloves and fought. After a grueling knockout political fight that forced each candidate to raise more than a million dollars each. The state has said we have a champion. We have a It was Louise Lucas who was the last left standing. Why did she win? All these people out here believed in me. They knew that I was telling the truth and they did not fall for the lies in the commercial. It was a heavyweight bout between two veteran political forces with a total of 60 years spent in the General Assembly, but only one could survive. I can't tell you how energized I was. It was so strange. It was like it was a party the whole time. I was having a good time. I, you know, I was out there spawning and carrying on and hugging and kissing people. If Democrats hold control of the state Senate, it could mean even bigger positions for Louise Lucas. Will you be the first African-American leader of the Finance Committee? I absolutely will be. And what will that mean for Hampton Roads and Ports? Oh my goodness, it's un untold. We're going to work together to make sure that Hampton Roads gets this share of the state pie. Now, Lucas is confident she'll have a Republican opponent in November. But since this is such a Democratic-leaning district, it is clear that the heavy lifting to win in November was done today. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.